Oh, I like it. I like it. This is my new best friend, this tool. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Mmm, I'm feeling so manly right now. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to my house flipper. You guys are amazing. You left some really good comments, especially about the flipping part of the houses. Yeah, I thought we have to go and take jobs until we get to a certain amount of money and then get an offer to buy a house to flip it. But that's not the case. You can go into the browser and you can buy the houses to keep for yourself if you want, as far as I understood from the comments, or you can flip them. So the cheapest house here, I think it's $31,000. And we have $37,000. So I think we should just buy it. Worst case scenario, we sell it for a little bit of a loss, like, and then we're just going to have to work some jobs to make up some money. But even our current house, we could sell it once we bought that, which gives us $27,000. Now, I don't know what gets transferred over, but that's irrelevant. I think we should today do our first house flip, do this. I don't know if we should unlock more tools first because I have a feeling that we're lacking still a couple of tools because we only have painting and this. We, we don't have a hammer. I think you can do deconstruction, all that jazz. So what I might do is play one or two more um, jobs before and then we're going to flip the house together. That's the plan. Anyway, longest intro ever. I hope you guys are going to have a good time with the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the box, support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, this is a job I'm going to do now. I won't be showing all of it like uh, in the video because I mainly want to focus on actually buying the house and flipping it. But this one seems like we're going to get some new tools. OK, additional walls. I need some alterations made to my two room house. My daughter is now three and we feel it's time that he uh, that she has her own room. <laughs> yeah, you, you turn from machine to a here as soon as you turn three it's like magic please divide the bedroom into two rooms and make sure the new room rooms both have doors that connect to the corridors i think that would be amazing we're gonna do that quickly and then we're gonna get some extra money hopefully some access to new, new, some new tools which oh yeah look at that there's still room for two three more extra tools i love it <laughs> I was just going through the house to check out what we have to do and because one of the objects uh, object, objects objectives is to remove the crib I saw oh look at that we can click on it and sell it that is amazing yeah great we removed it yeah now but look at this <laughs> you go here it says that's immoral no <laughs> They let you do everything else, like putting all the furniture into every room you want. But no, when it comes to selling someone else's uh, items, that is immoral. That that rabbit is like, oh my balls. I totally had an ear missing. It's only bent back. Whew. Okay. It's, oh, look at that. Can, what, what can we sell there? Oh, no, we can't. Sorry. I, <laughs> I shouldn't do this. Oh, I like it. I like it. This is my new best friend, this tool. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Mmm, I'm feeling so manly right now. So we're gonna take this wall apart. I don't know how much room do we have before we come out here on the other side. We can destroy every single wall in this house. No, but okay, we can destroy this one. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go right through here. This is gonna be amazing. I mean, they let me do this, so okay. <laughs> Okay, I might have gone a little bit too far. Okay, so how does this look? Eh, it's okay. <laughs> I think we should definitely make this even. See, I don't like that this wall is not even, so we should definitely make this wall even. So let me clear this out here, and then we're gonna build a new wall. Okay, we got a new skill, and I also found that I can have a lot more fun with this than I thought. So we might actually be just making this episode about this instead of starting to flip the house already. I can't help it, okay? Demolishing stuff and building walls is fun and interpreting things the way you like them too. Now, anyway, we have a point to spend in demolition, and I like muscle strength. I don't know what that really does for us. Like 5% more muscle strength? Okay. Upgrade the hammer, professional hammer, big professional hammer. But um, yeah, sure. Let's see what that does. Like maybe I can build walls faster now. I don't know. Let's see. Build walls. We have a lot of money to spend. I actually at this point don't care anymore if I make a profit of this job or not. But the guy said to build one room, if I understand it correctly, to um create two rooms uh, for the whatever the children i don't care whatever it is yeah so they want a wall here to separate these two rooms so what we're going to do is we're going to separate these two rooms so one wall will go here really really tight so that the parents still have their room but this room will be the child's room and we want to make sure this child has a really good 
time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the walls wherever we can. I th I actually, this this would be really nice if we can. Yeah, you know what? This is actually in the way. So let's 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 just start clearing a little bit the room, okay? So yeah, we can we can put this there. I mean, it looks good in the kitchen. Why not? You know, I mean, nobody needs these chairs. I mean, in the end of the day, I was going to sell them, but I'm not allowed to touch them. So they're just gonna have to live with me putting them wherever they can clean up later if they want. It doesn't really make a difference to me. But we need a space to build a wall. So let's see where else can we make walls? Can we make a wall here? Yes. No, we can't. But we can make one here. And we leveled up again in building. I like it. Faster building. Yes. The build wall is already painted. No, no, we don't. Nobody asked us to paint the wall. So that, that wasn't part of our job. So let's see how much faster we're building. Oh, that is nice. I like it. This is amazing. We're going to have this wall built in no time. And yes, of course, we're going to have to make sure there is a door. There's supposed to be two doors. So we have two doors. One door is here in this room and the other door will go. Oh, yeah, we have to make sure that we actually make um also this here a separate room this is all part of the child's room yeah this is gonna have to go into the parents room because the child thinks this is boring okay this is boring stuff the child is not really interested in they can move it wherever they want later so we're not really too concerned about that but right now all we are concerned about is room for the child the child is the most important, precious thing in their home. As they said themselves, it's getting old now. It needs to widen its horizon. It's too young to have a crib. You know, I mean, it's three. It's like it's the prime of its life. It needs the room to survive. So I think we're going to need to remove this door here. And um, can we not remove this door? Oh, come on. Let me remove this door. Oh, that looks like I can. Oh, I like it. It's mo Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, we got another level point. We got another point to level up in building. So, yeah, we want to build faster. That's definitely a thing. I mean, we're going to be building a lot of walls. We're going to make sure that um, our parents have the privacy they deserve. I mean, they looked after us for the last three years. They deserve everything, you know? So we want to make sure that they get it. Um, what do we have here? Excellent. We actually can finish the wall right here. Now you might, oh, oh, I was just about to say, don't be throwing a spanner into the works now because that's not how it works. Thank you. And one more. And yes, come on, you can do it. And we're done. Excellent. Look at this. We now officially have made a room for the child. It is a room and it has its own door and the parents still have their room and their own doors. So I think it's only fair that we do get paid for our work. I mean, we must have spent a fortune on getting everything ready, but I think it's only fair. Got another point in demolition and I don't know what muscle strength is, but I think faster demolition would be really actually upgrade the hammer. I want to see what happens with the hammer. Oh, yes. This is looking smashing now, literally. Um, do we have extra room here? I mean, I don't know if I like this. I mean, we have access to our basement and we are actually in charge of the basement now. So our parents have to ask for permission. This is literally our house now with an ensuite kitchen. And what is this? Oh, okay. So actually, I want to have access to the garden. I think this child is worth every penny. Absolutely. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So this is the TV area. We have an unmatching sofa because it's the only one I could find that goes this way around. Everything that goes the other way around just doesn't match. I could sell it and buy a proper sofa and move that actually into the... Yeah, you know what? We're going to move this downstairs into the storage where everything else is going <laughs> everything else is going there and um, then we can actually sell this again there we go oh we lost so much money on this i think anyway it doesn't matter so let's see if we can get a proper sofa because you know you want to have some fun as well so let's check it out search sofa i think a nice oh this one is lovely no this one no 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 yeah let's make it a nice gray and here we go. It would be exactly opposite the TV. So it would have to be, I think, here. Is that it? You sit down, you chill. Is that about center? I think it is. Yeah, it's good enough. We. I wish I could fi uh, fix the floor. I wonder if we could... Actually, can we buy flooring? Is that something we can do? That would be unbelievable. Floor. Oh, look at that. We actually can. Oh, is this the floor panel? Actually, that this is yes. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, do you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just going to go and 
We have the money, you know, it's absolutely fine. I think we should just do it. End of story. So let's go here. Let's go all the way across. Let's bring it all the way across. Excellent. Look at that. Beautiful. This is going to be the best kids room ever. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit further out as well because we're not finished yet, guys. We're not finished yet. This this is going to be amazing. Now, we want to give the parents access to the bathroom, so but we don't really want to see them, yeah? Because you know how disrupting it can get when parents, like, walk around and want to have that little look. So we have a door that we can lock here, and this is our area here. We don't want the parents here, so we're going to make sure that this is our area and they can just about get to the bathroom and the rest is ours because if they want to eat they, they can they can text us you know and um, we can get some food brought into them we're meeting the parents here i hope they're gonna be happy we've been working really hard we actually invested a lot more money into this house than we started with so we might break even we started with thirty-seven thousand. i think we just about make a little bit of a profit but totally worth it so let's go in the parents wanted the room separated from their room, the child room and the parent room wanted to be separated. They had the grip in their room, but they said, no, the child is getting three. It's old enough now to have its own room. And I think the parents are absolutely right. You got to give the child the room that it deserves. So welcome to the child's house. As you enter the front door, this is the child's room. It now has the room it needs. It has a beautiful white screen TV on the wall, a beautiful amount of lights, very nice little bedding area where it can nestle into its nest and sleep the night away. And if it really needs to communicate to its parents, it also has a nice access to the back garden. And if it needs to communicate to the parents, the parents can, of course, enter through these safety doors into the area and let's turn the light on actually into all these areas look at that beautiful we don't need to paint here i mean this is just for the parents and this is the parents room beautiful now this is actually a bit rude like i i, I didn't really consider that that was in the way so actually i like it so we need something for us so i think we should probably make sure that this is not in the way of the parents and you know what it, i think it would look absolutely lovely here yes it does isn't this just beautiful beautiful couch fit for a girl beautiful carpet tv everything here everything a growing girl needs i think it was a girl if it wasn't then it would be a boy with a pink sofa who cares it is an absolute dream come true for a parent to give their child their own space now let's see if we're gonna get paid of course we're gonna get paid and we get paid in full and it's beautiful so how much money do we actually have now 39,000. so we made actually nearly two grand that is amazing <laughs> all right as i came back to my house i was just about to do my outro and then i was thinking you know what screw this we got to spend a lot of money just to have some fun so welcome to my new house which probably didn't increase in value at all but it doesn't matter oh sorry <laughs> This is the scaffolding. We have to sell that. So, yes, we had 36,000. So, we had less than when we started our um, episode. So, look at this. We painted the house all the way around. We forgot a couple of cup, <laughs> a couple of uh, pieces of wood there, actually. So, I'm going to have to do that afterwards. But coming into my house, look at this now. We have a new welcome mat. We have a new front door. We have beautiful blinds on our windows now. Very nice contrasting colors with the white on the bed and the red on the walls. A new kitchen. Everything works at a new desk absolutely fantastical with loads of storage inside so we didn't need that ugly unit we have a flat screen tv of course we have spotlights all over the over the ceiling which are completely completely uncoordinated we have a artsy picture and oh i only noticed now there's actually a hand and a woman's ass i thought it was like an artistic desert it was dunes okay so there you go that's that's where my brain goes so we have our laptop here we have a new chair we have the bathroom upgraded we have painted the bathroom we have put a new toilet in a new shower and can we use it can we turn it on is it a thing can we can we no we can't and we have put a new mirror in that we still can't see our face in but everything else is reflected it's just really weird that we are not so this is i think the best i could think of how to modernize our first office now it didn't increase in value at all um, well, I don't know if it will. It was 27, yeah, 00429. So maybe once we moved out of it and put it up for sale, it will be renewed. I also made new pictures, but I don't know if we can upload them here or not. But this is still the old house. 
I don't know how we're going to have to get the pictures or if we can at all. Now, the main thing is that we want to buy a new house to move to. Now, we still have some money left, of course, even though it's less than when we started. So will we buy the abandoned house, the burnt house or the camping bungalow? You guys decide. Let me know where you want us to go. Now, the choices are the abandoned house, which we have here. It's a one room with a, with a toilet. It's not really big. It has 36.94 square meters. I don't know what a parcel area is. I have no clue. But this one here is slightly bigger. 3694. And this one is 3694. That's about the same. And this is 3219. So this is actually smaller, I think. But it seems to have a kitchen area, a unit. And yeah, here's the bed and everything. So it has more of a better shape. So shape-wise, the camping bungalow is probably the best. This one looks more like a shack. But in the end of the day, guys, it's up to you. Where do you want us to move to? Now, this one here looks like the first real kind of house, but that's 47,000. For that, we would do, we would have to do another couple of jobs, but um, which we could do as well. So again, it's all up to you guys. Do another couple of small jobs and then buy or not the other ones, only this, like the house with the uninvited guests, which is probably rats, I guess, but it has more rooms. It would be actually a lovely starter home and it is much bigger or do you want us to go and flip one of those i'm assuming we can flip them by flipping i mean that the price actually increases because in the moment this one doesn't increase i don't know i put so much money into this you can see it here we sold furnitures we bought furnitures wow i don't know maybe all this will be added together later on and we're gonna get a final price of like over thirty thousand. that would be great if not so be it it doesn't really matter i don't know how it works yet we're gonna figure it out but for now i'm gonna leave the episode here thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming